Hello everyone, my name is Chris from the Meeple Overboard podcast, and today I'm here to talk about this game, Brass Birmingham, recently published by Roxley Games. Now this is a wonderful game that's been having a lot of success, and if you've also noticed that my fellow Americans and I seem to struggle a little bit with some of the wonderful names to the beautiful cities in this game. Now I thought as an act of kindness for our friends across the pond that perhaps we could make a explanation video on how to pronounce some of those trickier names. To help me with this endeavor, I've brought in the help of a local expert and friend of mine that you may recognize, Mr. Matthew Jude. So I'm from the Black Country, you know where those, those big words on the board for Brass Birmingham. I'm not from Birmingham, I can't emphasize that enough, but my house is pretty much on the board. So I'm here to help with some of the harder pronunciations. Although it is a fact that the black country accent was voted in a poll in Britain as the stupidest accent in Britain. It actually scored lower than being literally unable to speak. We sound terrible. So Matthew will be helping me out by pronouncing each of these cities and then sharing a fun fact about each one of them. We'll start with him. Worcester. You know, Worcester, where the source is from interesting facts about Worcester. I'd suggest not getting too drunk there because it's a, it's basically a maze. Also, you know, don't go there for two years because your ex-girlfriend works in the coffee shop near the station. I mean, for, for example, Worcester. Birmingham, not Birmingham like the city in Alabama. Birmingham is the home to British heavy metal band Black Sabbath and possibly home to heavy metal itself. Utoxeter. Now Utoxeter is the kind of town where if you had a dream and you imagined you went somewhere but you can't quite remember it, that's pretty much what Utoxeter is like. It's almost as though it doesn't even exist. The only defining thing about Utoxeter, other than the fact that it sounds like some kind of liver disorder, is uh, hold on. No, no that's, uh, that's it. Utoxeter. Nottingham. Just like in the case of Birmingham, there's no ham here, but there is a goose fair. The Nottingham Goose Fair is one of the oldest events tracing back to 1284, now basically a big carnival. Derby. Now that's Derby, not Derby. Although some people, when they're referring to the thing that horse is doing in Kentucky, will say Derby. But they might say Derby because it's well, we would say Derby, but then they would say... Nuneaton. Known by locals online as the town that time and taste forgot, and a local haven for chavs. I'm not really sure what any of that means, but <laughs> you British people have a funny way of complimenting each other. Now the other Derby had a lot to do with horses, actually, and I'm pretty sure that's why a Derby is called a Derby? Like, that's where they got the, the noun? I think? That might not be true. Wassel. The first L is silent, it is not Walsall. Uh, I've got nothing on this one. Gloucester. Gloucester. Gloucester, the, the name with so many silent letters in it, the word almost doesn't even exist. In fact, most of the letters you need to say the name Gloucester aren't in the word Gloucester. Shrewsbury. Now this one might be a little confusing, in fact, the local government had to send out an official Facebook poll just to figure out how the locals pronounced the town, and Shrewsbury won by 81% of the vote. <laughs> what silly antics that is. Uh, oh, also some guy named Charles Darwin was born there, I guess. Dudley. Dudley is the worst place in Britain. Redditch. 90% of the world's needles used to be made there. That's all I got. This one's really boring. This region's kind of boring. Kidderminster. Kidderminster's got a college, I guess. That's about it. I mean, it's famous for carpets, but I mean, OJ Simpson was an actor, but that's not why you know him. Interesting fact. I once fell off a half pipe on a skateboard once and cracked my head open and needed to go home in an ambulance. That happened in Kidderminster. Oh, and Kidderminster was where I was when I realized I absolutely hate living where I live. Thank you.